Welcome, welcome to Excellentia School of Chemistry. And this is the discussion of the qualitative analysis of this year's WASI Alternative B Chemistry. And please, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and set the notification bell so that you get notification whenever we make new videos. Now, this instruction, F is an inorganic salt. Carry out the following exercises on F. Record your observations and so on. The instructions are there. And you see the instructions here. Number one, put all of F into a test tube and add about 10 cm cube of distilled water and shake well. Fill the wall of the test tube with your palm. Divide the resulting mixture into two portions. Now let me add that the sample we are working with is ammonium carbonate, ammonium trisocarbonate 4. So anything you are looking for here is either ammonium ion or trisocarbonate 4 ion. Or at best, you have trisocarbonate 4 or hydrogen trisocarbonate 4 ion. Okay, so the BI. Now, this first one, you see F plus water with shaking. And then you have F dissolves to form a colorless and clear solution. So the inference is F is soluble in water. F is soluble in water. This is the preliminary test, and but it's very important. Now the BI says to the first portion add barium chloride aqueous, followed by dilute mineral acid. Now I presented it like this because we can ask to use either of these okay any of these would give you the same result mineral acid now on adding to this resulting solution but of course first of all before that when you fill the solution with your palms you see that it will feel cold it will be cold to feel cold showing that the dissolution of f is endothermic the wall of the test tube would feel cool, showing that it's endothermic. Now, the solution, when you add barium chloride, you see white precipitate. White precipitate forms. When you get white pre precipitate, you suspect sulfate or sulfide or carbonate or sulfites. You must mention at least three of them, any three from here. Of course, it must include carbonates, trisocarbonate 4 ion, may be present. Okay, now you add to this, you add dilute mineral acid. The observation should be a favor sense of a colorless and odorless gas. You suspect gas may be carbon peroxide from trisocarbonate 4 ion. So you write that trisocarbonate for ion that is CO3 2 minus may be present. Then, in addition to that, because you have to test that gas, gas from 2Bi always quote your work properly. Gas from 2Bi plus moist blue litmus paper. Remember the moist plus lime water. The gas will turn moist blue lit more separate or pink and will turn lime water milky that shows that gas is please don't say co2 is present no co2 is not present in the original sample gas is co2 from co32 minus but you also have to take note that gas is acidic because of the effect on litmus gas is acidic and then you conclude that co32 minus is present CO3 2 minus is present. Now, alternatively, you might be asked in place of barium chloride to add silver nitrates. To add silver nitrates, aqueous. And adding silver nitrate aqueous, you see the same white precipitate. But this time around, you write that carbonate or chloride ion may be present. Okay? On adding dilute mineral acid to it. You experience the same effervescence of a colorless and odorless gas. 
Of course, you say gas may be carbon four oxide from CO3 two minus. So you say that CO3 two minus may be present. Of course, that gas has to be tested. Testing it with moist blue litmus paper and lime water. We have the same effect as we had above. That is, you now say that gas is CO2. Please don't say that CO2 is present. Some people are into that error. Gas is CO2 from CO3 2 minus. And gas is acidic. Then CO3 2 minus is present. And then still alternative to that, you can be asked to the F aqueous solution of egg F to add directly dilute mineral acid. At this point, you are going to experience a fever sense of a colorless and odorless gas. Okay, so you now say that gas may be carbon four oxide from trisocarbonate four. So, or Uh, of course, from trisocarbonate 4 or trioxo, uh, hydrogen trisocarbonate 4. Okay, it's hydrogen trisocarbonate 4. You are going to suspect the two of them at this point. Now, you have to now say that trisocarbonate 4 or hydrogen trisocarbonate 4 may be present. You now taste it, taste it with lime water and the and, uh, Lit multiple, you make the usual observation and then you make your conclusion as recorded above. Okay, yes. Now, the, the, we've, we've been able to confirm one ion that is trisocarbonate 4 ion, and what is remaining now is ammonium ion. The same solution, the second portion now, F aqueous plus sodium hydroxide with boiling. There will be evolution of a colorless gas with a pungent smell, or you say a choking smell, or choking smell, okay? Pungent or choking smell. Yes. And at that point, your observation, okay, your inference is that gas may be ammonia from ammonium ion so ammonium ion may be present and then you have to test the gas right you test the gas with ACL you test the gas with ACL and test it with ACL first of all you test it with blue moist blue or moist blue red lit paper a red lit paper will turn blue and with ACL to give you dense white films dense white films so being that the red litmus turned blue you have to confirm that the gas is alkaline then gas is ammonia gas is ammonia from ammonium ion don't say ammonium ion present don't say uh, ammonia gas present no gas is ammonia from ammonium ion so ammonium ion is present ammonium ion is present take note of these things and thank you very much. Watch out for our second video on the volumetric analysis. We are posting it in this same, ch in this same channel. And make sure in the examination hall you read your questions very well. And don't forget to subscribe please to this channel. Thank you very much. I'm wishing you the best in your examination. Excellentia School of Chemistry.